Hi guys, this is Amalia from Crafty Dream Studios. I am here to help make your crafty dreams come true. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to use our couture inks. I'll be using the color couture teal. Today, I'm gonna make myself a canvas bag uh, so that I can carry around, carry around my material. And so I have these transfers. I cut out this right here, this is chalk couture that I'm gonna place right here. Now, our couture inks are permanent. So, this is a white canvas bag. I went ahead and I already placed our, let me open this up so you can see, placed our couture inking mat right there so that it protects my other, the surfaces that are behind it so that it doesn't, uh, the ink doesn't transfer through. And I already placed my um, Cricut mat in here because, well one, so that when I'm ready to seal it with the iron, I already have the mat in there. Plus two, it makes sure and gives me a nice, flat, smooth, even surface so that I can get a flat, smooth, even um, couture, couture uh, transfer on there, okay? So I've already written back and chalk couture so that when I replace my transfer, I replace it on the correct side. So this is a brand new transfer. It's the first time I'll be using it. And so I'm going to remove it off its backing. There we go. Normally I would fuzz it. I'm not gonna fuzz it up because this is fabric and since, can you see, this is a large area that's gonna be receiving ink. So I wanna make sure that I get nice, crisp coverage. Okay, let's me figure out where I want this. I want it centered, kinda of towards the top. Let's see, is that straight, guys? Uh, maybe just a little lower like that. What do y'all think? Does that look pretty good? Let me bring this down. And one of the reasons I definitely wanna get it centered is because the edges, um, the area is not completely wide enough. If you can see, I have a little black showing here from, from, these, from this strap. So I wanna make sure that I have the same amount of black on each side. So I'm just gonna fuss with it a little bit. So, you know, depending on the surface that you're using, it may not take you this long. There we go, I think that's pretty even. All right. Remember, I want a nice, smooth, even surface that has no bubbles whatsoever. There's a little something, there we go, so that I get even coverage. Okay, let's take a look at that one more time. What do y'all think? I think that's pretty good, all right. Let's get this smoothed out. Make sure the letters are making good contact. And then I definitely want to go around the circle, making sure I'm just using my finger and pressing lightly to make sure I have good contact. Okay, here we go. Now I'll be using Couture Teal to, Ooh, here we go. I'm gonna mix up the ink. And remember, it is permanent. So I'm gonna mix it up to the side to make sure I don't get it where I don't want it. All right, and I'm gonna place some at the top corner to get started. And as you can see, I already got some on my finger. So I'm going to make sure and clean that up because if I accidentally place my finger down, I will transfer that ink 
and it is permanent. Okay. And I'm gonna grab them on my squeegee too. Cause... And here we go. Since it's canvas, I wanna make sure that I have good coverage. And I'm just bringing it down. And it does not dry as quickly as our paste, but I still want to go ahead and work with haste. Being very careful right here at the edge to make sure I don't get it where I don't want it. Okay, let's keep bringing that down. Making sure to cover every area. Okay, and as I'm moving it down, I'm also going over it again, making sure that I'm getting smooth coverage and that I'm covering all the area. Okay, so this. This is how you would work on any project. Oh yeah, that was close. Did y'all see that? I got really close to that edge, but I didn't go all the way over. Okay, so now I'm picking up excess. And placing it back in my jar. Okay, are y'all ready to see the reveal? <laughs> I know I am. I'm putting my squeegee on this napkin. Cleaning off as much as I can for right now. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna start at a corner. Remember, if I accidentally missed a piece or something didn't, um, get covered. If I peel it up slowly, I can peek. And if I need to place it down to reapply. Oh, there we go. That looks pretty good. I do see I had some leakage right here. But and I figured that might happen because it it's right next to this raised edge. So it wasn't able to completely seal that down, okay? So that's just something to think about when you are using ink and a transfer on your project. If this had not been here, it would have been a, a nice, smooth, even application. But because this is raised, it didn't, but I'm okay with it. Uh, I think it came out great. I figured as much with this little raised area here, but I really like that. Can y'all take a look at that? So now all I have to do is I need to let this dry. I could kind of speed up the process by using a uh, heating tool, such as a blow dryer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and let it air dry because I wanted to I don't want to have to speed it up. Then when it's done, I'm going to go ahead and use my easy press to press it so that it seals it permanently. But there you go. It's that easy. Place your transfer, put the ink, and voila, you have your image. Thanks so much for joining me today. Please make sure to subscribe, to comment, to like, and to share. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that when I upload videos, you will be notified. Thanks again. Have a great day or night wherever you're at.